up everybody? Let's talk about sight tapes. Uh, we know that uh, sight tapes do come with a lot of the, the sights on the market right now if you're running a slider, um, but they're not always 100%. So what you do, there's a system to go in and put all your information for your arrows, your veins, your wraps, your knocks, your inserts, your points, all that stuff, all the bow configuration, uh, the measurements from your peep to your pin, uh, peep to your arrow, all that stuff you can put in this system and uh, it'll give you a few different options about printing out uh, some side tapes. So come on over here. And this, uh, this program is $12 a year, I believe it is, or $12.99 a year, it's Archer's Advantage. Okay. Um, from my understanding, they've been around for quite a while. So what you can come in here and do is you can set up your bow configuration all right, so I went in here and picked my bow. All right. And I come over here and I put in some other information. Um, I went ahead and chronoed my, uh, my bow. So I was able to go ahead and put that data in right there as opposed to having it uh, figured out for me later on. So I'm shooting right around 58, uh, top 58, 59 pounds. My brace height, uh, my draw length. And then I will come over here and go to my site information. So I picked the true ball. Okay, there's a few different ones to choose from in here, depending on what site you're running. Uh, some of these target sites up here, obviously, but uh, for us normal folk, uh, we can run in here and just true ball is all we need. That works for a lot of the sites. Now, these, mem uh, these measurements are crucial, okay? Uh, peep to sight. This is a full draw. This is going to be your measurement from your peep sight all the way to your sight pin. Okay, we need that measurement. That's going to distinguish your um, distances between your pins because you're shooting, you know, 300 feet per second doesn't mean you're going to have a quarter inch between your 20 and your 30. Uh, everybody's different depending on the side setup you have. So the longer you put your sight away from your peep sight, that's going to make that gap bigger. This measurement at the bottom here is also at full draw. This is your peep to center of arrow measurement at full draw. So you're gonna drop a line from your peep all the way down to your arrow, uh, and this is that measurement. This is a measurement that's actually crucial for when you're changing uh, uh, a bow, okay? If you're running a bow with a 30 inch axle to axle, we'll go to once a 27 axle to axle, your six inch height uh, in your string at rest is different because the string angle. This number should be the same at full draw from your peep down to your arrow. Now my arrow configuration. Now I want you guys to know you can play with these numbers. So I went ahead and, and, and already had data before I came in here. So I already know what my bow was shooting at uh, feet per second wise and I already knew what my arrow weighed, okay, on a scale. So I picked the arrows I'm running, okay, the arrow length I'm running, all right, and I also put uh, that number there. What I did with, with, the, with the calculated weight is I had to play with some of these numbers here. All right, I'm, my point weight actually is 100, okay? Uh, not 107. But I had to go in there and play with those numbers a little bit in order to get it there where I wanted it, okay? So you put that in. I'm gonna go here to sight in. Now, this is where I played with the number a lot. Because I didn't take measurements from my 20 yard pin to my 80 yard pin, okay? I had to mess with this number right here, which is the difference between these two, okay? In order to get that feet per second correct, okay? So now if you don't have a, a, a chronograph, you can go to 20 yards, shoot at 20, slowly walk back to 60, 80, 100, whatever you wanna do, zero that uh, the bow at that distance, and you're gonna take a pair of calipers and measure the distance between those two, two marks, put that there, and it's gonna calculate your speed for you and also your help with the sight tape. I'm done putting all that info in. Now I can go in and I can also edit uh, the, uh, the lines how far I want the distance. I went to 130 on this. I don't plan on shooting past that. Um, you know, the, the, the font type, the size, the darkness of the, the lines, all that stuff. And you can mess around with that. I'm gonna go to print, site tapes. We want it in yardage. 
All right, now this is gonna pop up. This is gonna give you your speed that you put in and a few below and a, and a few above that, just in case, all right? Also got a cool feature here for close range. You guys, you shoot in the garage or the living room or down your hallway, uh, like when I shoot here in the, in the, in the uh, shop, I shoot it about seven, eight feet, and I actually put mine um, on 75 yards in order to hit where I'm aiming at this distance. So that's kind of a cool little feature there for you to, to have uh, at your disposal. So you're gonna print these out, and I'm sure you can find some cool waterproof labels and all that stuff. Me, I'm, that's too high tech for me. So I just come over here, and I used some clear gift wrapping tape I got at Publix. It's not milky at all, it's perfectly clear. That way you hide those seams on those gift wrap presents you just bought your wife because you just bought a new bow. And I just tape it on there, cut it so it fits around it nice and snug. And it's not a hard, uh, it's not hard for me to move it and, and change it if I want to and it's waterproof at this point. So, I hope that's a little bit of information you guys can use. Uh, I know it's helped me out a lot. Um, I know, like I said, some of the companies, they already come with sight tapes and they're close enough and that's fine. You know, if you're shooting 40 yards, it really, it's not super crucial, but when you get out to those longer distance, 80, 100, past 100, um, a yard is a big difference at those distances. So those, those tapes are semi-generic, um, and sometimes you have off days. This system is pretty, pretty accurate from what I've understood, from, from what I've seen so far. So uh, give it a try. I hope that helps you guys out and talk to you soon.